It's just wonderful. You know, I want to tell you something. Will you put it on? I just got on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do my act. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my... <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait. Johnny, hold it. What are you waving me to? Come here, young man. Are you, you work on a show? What are you, what are you, what's the waving of the, who are you? Are you, who are you? I'm the stage manager. Yeah, well, what are you? What? I tell you when to get on and when to get off. Oh, you do, huh? Well, I just got out. You a stage manager? Yes, I am. You've been in the business a long time? You... Way before television. Yeah? I remember you from radio. Radio? Crystal sets. I would... <laughs> Look what I got here. And you've worked on radio shows? Every big... Sh Rum and Abner. Yes. Easy Aces. Vic and Sade. Helen Trent. Pick and Pat. I would... Who? Pick and Pat. Who's Pick and Pat? Comedians. Comedians? They were on the Peter Potter show. Oh, yeah. It used to be Peter Potter presents Pick and Pat. <laughs> then there was Potash and Perlmutter. Potash and Perlmutter. They were singers. Singers, Singer, yeah. In fact, at one time, Potash and Perlmutter worked with Pick and Pat. Oh, they did? It was a quartet. They were known as Pick and Pat and Potash and Perlmutter. <laughs> they split up. It didn't last too long. Why? Because of Percy. Percy who? Percy Potash. Percy Potash? It was Percy Potash and Paul Perlmutter. Percy Potash and Paul Perlmutter. Right. They had a big argument with their manager, Perry Peck. Could be related to Gregory Peck. Gregory, yeah, sure. But who cares? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> well, anyway, Perry Peck, who, he's not in show business. I, I didn't hear you. Perry Peck isn't in show business. Perry Peck does not work in show business. He now sells hockey equipment. Hockey equipment? Pucks. Pucks. Peck's pucks. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So they split up, see? Yeah. And then Pat was out of show business until he teamed up with a magician by the name of Dickie Dundee. Dickie Dundee. They were known as Pat and Dickie. Pat and Dickie. <laughs> and then they split up. Yeah. And do you know what Dickie Dundee did? <laughs> what you say? Do you know what Dickie Dundee did? Dickie Dundee did? That's worse than Willie, Woody, and Izzy. <laughs> uh, what did Dickie Dundee do? Well, he split up, see? Yeah. And then Pat was out of show business until he teamed up with Jack Pepper. Jack Pepper. Who was a comedian. A comedian. I know Jack. Yeah. In fact, he was married to Ginger Rogers. Ginger Rogers. Rogers yeah. Long time ago. Sure, sure. His real name was Edward Culpepper. Culpepper. He didn't change his name from Edward Culpepper to Jack Pepper till after they were divorced yeah. because Ginger Rogers didn't want to be known as, as Ginger, Ginger Pepper. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So, uh, Jack Pepper, yeah. being that he left Pat, teamed up with a singer by the name of Frank Salt. Frank Salt. And you know what they call the act? Salt and pepper? Jack and Frank. I was Shut up! I got to go up here. Don't applaud. How am I ever going to get started here? Now hold it. I'm trying to do my jokes out of it. Well, go on, continue. In the meantime, Pat, who was out of show business, teamed up with Frick. Frick? A Frick and Frack. A Frick? Oh. Wonderful act. They were known as Frick and Pat. Frick and Pat. But the name didn't sound right. Yeah. They didn't know whether Pat should change it to Frack or Frick should change it to Pick. It yeah. was confusing. Yeah. See, Pick quit show business. Yeah. In fact, he's a millionaire. What is he doing? Oh, made a fortune as a pickle business. <laughs> Had his own pickle business. Pickle business? Started at the bottom as a pickle presser. A pickle presser. Very important job. Yes. The pickle presser stands on the assembly line, and when the jars come down, there's always one jar with a pickle sticking up, yeah. and you can't put the top on. So yeah. Pick would press, press the pickle. <laughs> Of course, that was the big pick. That's the big pick. Now, with the little ones. The little ones. The small ones. That's the gherkins. The gherkins. Yeah. They would come down another assembly line. There was always one gherkin too big to be a gherkin. Should have been a pickle. So? So Pick would have to pluck it out of the bottle. So he plucked the pickle. <laughs> yeah, no, he was a gherkin jerker. <laughs> now, wait a minute. What, have you got something else to say? We never even talked about Frick and Frack, who were my favorites. Frick and Frack? Who, uh, who are Frick and Frack? They were so wonderful in the Ice Follies. They were comedians. They were? Although, uh, you know, before that, they were hockey players. Yeah. But Frack got a puck stuck right in his ear, and Frick got a stick across his Clyde. Yeah. And they said, we don't need hockey. We're funny with a puck in the ear and a stick on a Clyde, see? <laughs> so they went into the ice show with the girl partner, Bernadette Petfarkin. <laughs> Bernadette Petfarkin. Always a big thrill to hear an MC say, Here they are, Pet Fork and a frickin' Frack. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Who's coming up? Then they split up, you see. Who split up? Pet Fork and Frickin' Frack. I see what you mean. They all split up because yeah. Frack hurt himself. He hurt himself? Oh, he had a left elbow. Oh, hurt himself badly. He's now in the dress business. Frack is in the dress business. Frack's frocks. See? <laughs> 
The name of the act now is Pet Barkin and Frick. Pet Barkin and Frick. Yes. You see, Frack's real name was Garfinkel. Yeah. Originally, the act was Pet Park and Garfinkel and Frick, but a lot of parents didn't want to bring the little kids in. Well, <laughs> you know what was going on, you know. So anyway, the way they made him change his name, yeah. Pet Barkin called her manager, Nutsy Fagan, on the phone. Who? Nutsy Fagan. Nutsy Fagan? Yes. Oh, I remember him. He was a burlesque comedian. Right. Now he's a manager. I see what you mean. He handles a lot of performers. Peter Paul, Cocky Fargus, Pet Park and Garfinkel and Frick. <laughs> So anyway, Pet Barker said to Fagan on the phone, uh, tell Garfinkel to change his name. He said, don't involve me, tell Frick, yeah. who could be related to the ex-baseball commissioner, Ford Frick. Ford Frick, yeah. Pet Barker said to Frick, Freddy. Freddy? That was the first name. <laughs> the whole act was Frank Frack, Freddy Frick, and Bernadette Pet Barker. <laughs> and Bernadette Pet Barker has two sisters who are singers, the Pet Barker sisters. Pet Barker. <laughs> Very popular in the days of the Dinnings, the Boswells, and the Pickens. Hmm. They were the Pet Barkers. Then they split up, and Penelope sang with Potash and Perlmutter. Mm. It was a trio. Yeah? What was it called? Potash, Perlmutter, and Pet Barkin? No, Peter, Paul, and Mary. <laughs> Peter, Paul, and Mary. And the Mounds. Now, the other one, the other Pet Barkin sang with a very big orchestra. In fact, you probably remember the band. They were called the Band of a Thousand Melodies. Do you remember the band leader's name? Sammy, who is it? Larry, La Larry, Funk. Larry Funk. Great, Larry Funk. Larry Funk. Pet Barker sang with Funk. Yeah. They were known as Pet Barker and Funk until she got married, see? Yeah. She married a man who worked for Ed Sullivan, uh, 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 Patsy Flick. Patsy Flick. Wonderful act, Pet Barker and Flick. Yeah. But Funk was stuck. She didn't have a singer. No. You're looking at me like I'm making up a story. No. I'm not making up a story. You're not. These are facts. If I told you what Larry Funk were doing today, you'd laugh. I hope they do. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> you ever seen Dunkin' Donut restaurants? Yes, I have. Well, you know where you buy donuts and coffee? They're franchised. Yeah. Larry Funk has his own Dunkin' Donut franchise. Really? Makes his own Dunkin' Donuts, has his own neon sign, and it flashes on and off, on and off, on and off. dunk a funk dunk a funk oh. dunk a funk <laughs> I'd rather dunk a funk than sink a fink. All right! <laughs> fink puts out the worst on it. You ever try to sink a fink? No. You can't. They get soft and crumble and go right to the bottom of the coffee. They sell them at the airport, 10 cents a fink, foggy nights, two for 15. Go ahead. You sink one fink, you get into an argument. Hey, mister, where's my fink? What'd you do with it? I dunked it. Well, you're not supposed to dunk a fink in coffee, sir. You dunk a fink in milk. A funk you dunk in coffee. Oh. <laughs> Deanna Durbin, remember him? Get out! 